Hey, Michelle, coming to you with another daily quickie. It's an early, early enough Tuesday morning, and I'm out and about getting myself centered with my morning walk in nature. Well, mostly nature because I'm surrounded by a river and lots of trees of course i'm passing many houses as well but this morning i woke up to this song and luciana reggae jamaican reggae artist uh sings this and i think it's it's coming from the bible lord give me strength to face another day i carry my heavy load help me along life ro life's road and this is exactly how I woke up feeling this morning. Yesterday was not such a pleasant day. I had an unfortunate incident with a cop who was really very nasty toward me. But you know, when you're dealing with the police, especially in certain parts of the world, you remain humble. And so, Humility kicked in, which is not hard for me. I've, I've learned how to be humble. But there's something he said to me, and I know the implication behind what he said. So he stopped me and did his checks, and then he turned to me and said, put your keys. He went around to look at my, my driver's license, well, my license plate, sorry. And he said, put your keys on the dashboard because I don't want you to run over me. And I said, I looked at him and I'm like, what? I could not believe that he said that to me. I don't know if he has had experiences before or he has ever had an experience where someone almost ran him, him over. But the way he dealt with me, it's easy for someone to have done that. Not me. That's not my thing. I remained humble. So that kind of shifted my my energy yesterday. And when I got home, I actually went into my home office and I tried to kind of calm down and then I exhaled. After I exhaled, everything kind of felt all right again I had a reset I guess you could say because I find just breathing to be really helpful in situations that can be unnerving and that was really unnerving now I live in a part of the town where I find the people are very friendly and warm for the most part I've really not had many unpleasant experiences but I'm here I'm not going anywhere, so people have to get used to it. But that cop and his display of clear, 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 and I'm gonna call it prejudice, kind of threw me off. But, you know, my melanin has experienced that many times over, not just with the cops, but because I've really only been stopped by a cop maybe once or twice since I've been living in this country. But you know, it is what it is and unfortunately this is how we have to to say this it is what it is because you know change we hope it's coming it's it's you know the unfair treatment of people that we have seen displayed by police all over the world you know makes it a little hard sometimes to find the strength. So this morning I woke up to God give me strength to face another day because here I am grateful to be part of another day and just wanting to make sure that my mind is at peace and yesterday's incident doesn't distort my view of what is beautiful around me and if you look in my background you see the river that's the Niagara River and all this beauty that surrounds me I'm not 
going to let one person mess with that. Now, he is not going to mess with my groove. He threw me off yesterday, but, you know, like I said, sometimes we've got to just suck it up and say it is what it is. So today, I'm here doing my morning do, which is making sure that I get that heart rate pumping and um, get, get to work because there's lots to do. So just wanted to share that with you. Sometimes you just have to say to God, give me strength to face another day. And because I am so grateful each morning I'm able to get up and do this, I know that I have already found the strength. So, leaving you with peace, love, joy, strength, <laughs> the vitality to do what you need to do, and ask that you take care of yourselves and stay safe. Blessed love.